Hello everybody from Culloden Battlefield Ooh. Not the bonniest of days But it all adds to the ambience Something that we're trying to protect at the group to stop the development at Culloden by stopping developers through legal means of building houses one of which is just over the cairn there beyond the trees in the distance at View Hill Farm I just love coming here you know it doesn't matter what the weather is okay today it's a bit grim but once again as I say it adds to the ambience of this grave for all you Outlander fans I'm afraid this stone has been very popular over the last couple of years so much so that the football here has taken away the grass just make sure that's clean but it is a very sombre thought provoking place and that is the way that it should remain forever and I and I'm sure my friends from the group and everybody from overseas will do our damnedest to make sure it does stay like that it's a wee bit grim eh? Right. By the way, speaking to the people from the National Trust of Scotland today, we reckon that over 180,000 people pass through the visitor centre. That's people just taking in the exhibition alone. And the actual number, because they can't really record it out here in the battlefield, is well over in excess of 250,000 people. That is quarter of a million people come here every year. Why would developers want to spoil that? Why would they want to build here in the first place? It's just not on. Right. Hello and good afternoon everybody and welcome along to Scotland and welcome along to Culloden Moor and to Culloden Battlefield itself I'm Paul Jameson and I'm a member of the group to stop the development at View Hill Farm and all the other surrounding areas that the developers want to build around here that stone that was just showing you uh, at the beginning of this video is a marker stone put here by the National Trust for Scotland and it shows basically the furthest north of the British lines and in the bottom two ranks of those lines are Kingston's and Cobham's horse dragoons it also says on the stone that it is to the right of this stone on this point stood X, Y and Z the British troops my question is how far to the right I've recently seen some new evidence that has been around for a while of uh, maps and surveys that have been carried out 
over this main road here that you see behind me and through those trees towards View Hill Farm and from what I can see to the right is quite a distance so in a couple of weeks time or two Saturdays from now the 13th of October our members are going to meet here up by the visitor centre and march down to View Hill Farm down at View Hill Farm they've started work now on the 16 houses that are going to be built there and although we've not managed to stop them being built there has been a new conservation zone set up around here of which treetops stables has now come into and it'll be a great test to see if they're going to get full planning permission for their area so we're going to go down to View Hill Farm and see what's going on down there I'd just like to say on behalf of myself that um, we've been doing this now for quite a few years and uh, although you don't see all the hard work that the uh, admins put in I can assure you that they are I'm trying to get the cairn in there so you can see the cairn just right there it's never ending for these admins and also for people that come along because we're not all planning experts we're not all historians I certainly am not but I'm grateful when somebody comes along and gives us more information more ammunition to stop these developments taking place because after all this is a graveyard this is the battlefield of Culloden and what I say is at that fence there although that is one of the boundaries of the actual battlefield that the National Trust for Scotland own it doesn't end there it's much much further we could go to the south here over my shoulder to the River Nairn many many skirmishes and atrocities took place in fact just beyond here is a place called the Soldier Stone where 12 Jacobites were murdered without trial or sentiment so it must extend quite a bit towards View Hill Farm and of course the thing about View Hill Farm is that sets the precedent that opens the doors and people will come and want to develop here something else that I was interested in was the fact that although we're here right next to one of the fastest growing cities in the UK Inverness just a couple of miles down the road there the support from Inverness hasn't been absolutely overwhelming our support seems to come from all you lovely overseas members and that worries me because we have been down there leafleting and we have been down there petitioning and talking to the people and the people I spoke to on one of the days I was there didn't really know and I wonder if it's because of this the city of Inverness is growing so fast that when you talk about affordable housing then they're happy because they might get one of those houses what I would say in the last 20 years the housing estates that are built up around Inverness itself is humongous absolutely the unfortunate thing is these houses that are going in here they're not for just your man in the road or the man in the street they're not for people that just live their day to day on their wage packet or single mums or people in need no 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 these are for people who've got a few bob in their pocket now how they got their money it's nothing to do with me they may have worked all their lives etc so that's that but this isn't affordable housing this is something different so what we're going to do now is head off down to Viewfield, View Hill Farm or as it's called now Cairnfields which is quite ironic yeah because there's the cairn behind me and there's a field what a name so let me just say before I go down just wanted to say keep up the good work and uh, thanks for all the comments that uh, you make and uh, off we go to View Hill see you later
so we've now moved down to uh, Cairn Fields or as we all know it View Hill Farm as I say sorry about the weather today it's uh, just good Scottish rain anyway let me just give you a wee look on what's happening here so this is the main road that comes up from Baloch and Smithton I've already got a bus stop there I see that's handy and here and as you can see this used to be just like a wee single track this is obviously going to be the main road into the site now and these are by the drain stanks Now let's take a wee walk around here and up to the site don't get too bored this will take a wee minute to do that as you can see all the houses are still here on the right hand side but I always said that uh, you know in some of the videos that I've made here before I wonder what sort of impact it's having on these people are they happy to have all this work carrying out for such a period of time? And you know, this has been going on for years and years. Um, are they happy with it? Do you think it brings anything to them? Because the way I look at it is very simple. If I bought my house here, it'd be well out in the countryside because I like the peace and quiet. Not because I want more houses built around me. That's a nice friendly doggy. That's a large poodle, that one. Hi. So it doesn't take too long. You can see, it's a right mess, obviously, with the rain in the day. Doesn't it help. But, uh, I'll see you when we get to the top. Okay, so that's as. Uh, nearly at the top of the lane now now I know that many of you from the group have been here in the past and remember exactly what it was like with these big sheds here well, as you can tell the sheds are all gone now and it's just a construction site I remember speaking to the lady in this house here who uh, had a connection with horses and standing under that tree and making the quote about not an inch, not an acre and not a brick had been laid well, it looks like uh, that's about to change so And the thing it is about to change is that there are bricks there and you can see them right there this will do well, unfortunately not anymore This is all the infrastructure that goes with it. Now you can see just how deep they've gone there. I mean, this isn't just skimming off the surface here. This is bloody deep. 
and there must be history in there somewhere and I don't see one archaeologist around here then maybe he's hiding out in the port of cabin let me just cross the mud here and it is I mean look at the state of the bloody place Take a walk across the mud here. <sighs> Danger. Keep out. There you go. Says a lot, doesn't it? So you can actually, uh, See the stonework here. Hi, how's it going? Can I am just making a wee film about uh, the development here. Um, I remember coming here when it was just sheds and uh, it's it's a sad day but the houses are going up. I'm not here for any bother, sir, or anything like that. Um, I just remember it standing over there in that field and looking back and thinking those sheds are pretty ugly but to replace them with houses is very sad but this will be progress. But uh, I appreciate it, I'm just going now. But thank you for coming over. Strange how you're spotted right away. Eh? Never give them any information. Never tell them who you're from or what you're in. There you go. So, I guess I'm not welcome, but what are they going to do? Huh? What are they going to do to me? What was he? Hmm? It's just very, very sad. I'd just like to say thank you very much to Andy McAlinden, the Highlander, who came up here last week and uh, took some film of this. I'm looking down at this line here I don't know what this means Somebody in the know will know what it means but they've got uh, this marker here and a blue line that goes all the way up I wonder if they're going to take down those trees there Anyway View Hill Farm No more 16 Luxury two-storey houses hmm. as I say our group's not political but the only way that this is going to get sorted out is for the government to step in but it's probably too late for us all now so on the way down here uh, we passed Fibuy which is the next target of the group we can't dwell on the things we've lost but we can look forward to the future and the battles to come and that will be interesting to see how that goes on because they're going to build lodges there and a laundrette and <sighs> just not stuff really in keeping with this area but we will fight and we'll never give up and there's always people here and it's quite strange you know you come up this path and at least six people have peered either out or come out into their gardens they're like a bad man and I'm not I just want to protect Scotland's heritage and in particular our wee patch here at Culloden so thank you very much everybody for joining us um, especially as I say all our overseas members and all the new members that have come along and I look forward to seeing you here um, on the 13th we're going to meet up 
at the visitor centre on Clodden Battlefield and then come down here. It's a very short walk and uh, I'm sure that uh, George, our leader, will have something to say about what's going on here. But this disappointment might turn it into happiness with the new conservation zones that's set up here. But whatever we do, we've got to look into our past to see what's coming in our future. Because what does go around, comes around. That's for sure. And the protection of Culloden and its surrounding area might not be heard by everybody, but the people that do hear about it are keen to stop it. So thank you all. Take care. And here we are, leaving View Hill now. So here we are on the road from View Hill up to Culloden Moor itself. And although View Hill is gone, this place comes into our sight for the future. And this is tree topped. Equestrian Centre This is where they're going to build lodges a new pub a laundrette etc I can see away in the distance some horses etc And uh, you can see away in the distance here, maybe diggers, etc. I don't think they're going ahead with anything just now, not until things are uh, sorted out. And uh, well, we can do everything in our powers to uh, stop them. It's as simple as that. You can help, you can have your say. And with people power and the group sticking together, we can do something about this. Never give up, never give in. So, that's it. There's not much more to tell you from out here at Culloden today. Uh, sorry the weather's not been great, but um, it doesn't matter about the weather, as I say. I can come here any time of the year. And it's a joy to be here. And as I say, very thought provoking. And what we don't want are more houses. Leave the clansmen and their families in peace. <laughs>